welcome to the show. I'm Mike, and I'm Rainbow. And thank you all for joining us for part two of this month's A Window, Window. on the World Unit. And we're talking about pop-up museums. Pop-up museums are what we're looking at this month, and it seems that these small temporary museums are really popping up. All over the place. That's right, Rainbow. Since they don't cost much to set up, and they can move around fairly easily from city to city, pop-up museums are perfect for people who are looking for new things to see and places to experience with their friends and family. And since pop-up museums are usually very interesting, kids can have lots of fun doing things while they learn something new at the same time. Fantastic! So now that we understand more about what pop-up museums exactly are, let's take a look today at what kinds of things we can see and experience in pop-up museums. I'm sure we will be quite surprised by some of the choices out there. Before we begin, though, we need to take a look at all of today's new vocabulary. Let's take a minute or two to do that now, and then we'll come back to start the article. 第二天的博物馆文章要带大家看展览里面能体验的各式各样的主题。先来看几个单字。第一个 ，ice cream, ice cream. 冰淇淋是个名词，大家一定有听过。英文有一句话说 ，ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. 我尖叫，你也尖叫，我们都为了冰淇淋尖叫。有押韵哦，听得出来吗？第二个单词 ，experience, experience， 体验或是经历，是个动词。The purpose of life is to experience it. The purpose of life is to experience it. 生活的目的就是要懂得体验。第三个单词 ，nature. Nature. 大自然是个名词。Nature helps us relax and think more deeply about our lives. Nature helps us relax and think more deeply about our lives. 大自然能让我们放松，而且更深的思考我们的人生。最后一个单字 magic， magic， 魔法是个名词，魔术也可以用同一个字 magic。Every time I go to Disneyland, I can feel magic in the air. Every time I go to Disneyland, I can feel magic in the air. 每当我去迪士尼乐园的时候。我都能感受到空气中弥漫着魔法的气息。好喽，现在我们看完单词例句，一起回到课文中。Pop-up museums are popular right now. The really popular ones are about food, like eggs, candy, and ice cream. There, people can experience the food art and sometimes the food itself. Some pop-up museums have rooms about colors, feelings, and nature. Others allow people to see the world in a different way. Still, others take people into the world of dreams and magic. Explanation one. All right. So our article for today begins by telling us this. It says pop-up museums are popular right now. Well, that's good news. So I guess it means that we will be seeing more and more of them in the future. Pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, I hope they come to Taipei.、Mm. It sure is. And next, we learn about some of the different types of museums out there. We read the really popular ones are about food, like eggs. Candy and ice cream. Hmm, that sounds really interesting. 
but it sounds more delicious to me. Absolutely, it seems like these days everyone is interested in discovering and trying new food. So if we can do it in a museum too, well, why not? So with food as a theme, what would visitors to these pop-up museums get to see or do? Well, the next sentence tells us there. People can experience the food art and sometimes the food itself. Wow, food art and then some free food samples too. You know, you can't go around the Louvre museum and <laughs> taste the paintings. <laughs> Although I'm, I'm not sure you would want to <laughs> taste a painting. No, 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 no. It would no, probably no. be dusty. Ew. Yeah, probably yeah. not. Yeah. So food museums are popular, but what else? Next, it says some pop-up museums have rooms about colors, feelings, and nature. Wow! 在这边加一个补充单词 feelings， 感情、感觉、情感。所以展览的确能激发我们平常比较不容易感受的 feelings， 而且展览里面也有很多的。Feelings. Ah, okay.、Hmm. So this is quite a different subject from food, but it sounds just as interesting, or actually more interesting. A museum about feelings. Hmm. I've never heard of that before. Yeah, neither have I. But it sounds kind of cool. <gasps>、yeah. Next in our article, we learn about a few other types of pop-up museum. It next says. Others allow people to see the world in a different way. Well, that's good. Museums should do that. Yeah. As we reach our break, we learn about another kind of pop-up museums. We read: Still others take people into the worlds of dreams and magic. Wow. Okay. Well, I can't really imagine how a museum could do that, but I'm definitely interested to visit one. Hmm. Absolutely. And now it looks like we have reached our break. But first, we have pop-up Daphne here. Who will tell us everything we need to know about today's first two grammar points? So let's go over to her, and then we'll come back to take our break. 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是 some others, still others， 意思是有些、有些，还有一些，专门用于举例的时候，而且举的例子都是复数名词。Some 是代名词，有些的意思。Others 则是代名词，其他。Still 则是副词，还有。因此 ，still others 就是代名词，还有一些的意思。例如 ，There are all kinds of vegetables in the salad. Some are carrots. Others are tomatoes. Still others are bell peppers. 这道沙拉含有各式各样的蔬菜，有些是红萝卜，有些是番茄，还有一些是甜椒。第二则文法是 A allows B to 加原形动词，意思是 A 允许 B 做某事。Allow 是及物动词，允许、准许的意思，后方先接人当受词，再用不定词 to V 说明允许的内容。例如 ，the school allows students to use cell phones on campus. 这所学校允许学生在校园内使用手机。Okay, so that means it's break time now, but we'll be back right after that to finish our article. These art shows are changing people's ideas about museums. Now people look forward to going to them. All right, we're back. So let's get back to our article about pop-up museums. We were just reading about how pop-up museums can focus on lots of different subjects, from food to nature to dreams and even magic. So these really aren't the usual types of things we see in museums, right? No, they definitely aren't, and that's why the next sentence of the article tells us. 
These art shows are about changing people's ideas about museums. And if they can get more people to visit museums, I'd say that's a good thing. I agree. And it can also be good to help people see museums in a different way. And the last sentence of the article tells us, now people look forward to going to them. Hopefully they won't look at museums as stuffy places that are just full of old stuff anymore. Mm, that would be great. And in the meantime, check out a pop-up museum near you sometime. You'll probably be pleasantly surprised by what you find there. Okay, that's it for the article, but we do have one more grammar point to take care of. So let's go back over to Daphne. Look forward to 加 v i n g 意思是期待做某事。Look 在这里是不及物动词看的意思。Forward 是副词往前。Look forward 往前看表示引颈期盼。后面再用介系词 to 引出动名词 v i n g 或名词，用以说明期待的事情。例如。I look forward to hearing from you. 我很期待得到你的消息。Okay, ladies and gents, that's all the time we have today. So thanks for spending some time here with us, and we'll see you soon with more fun and fascinating articles. Until then, bye. bye, -bye. Pop up museums, not your traditional museums. Pop up museums are popular right now. The really popular ones are about food, like eggs, candy, and ice cream. There, people can experience the food art and sometimes the food itself. Some pop-up museums have rooms about colors, feelings, and nature. Others allow people to see the world in a different way. Still, others take people into the world of dreams and magic. These art shows are changing people's ideas about museums. Now people look forward to going to them. Using English to describe the feeling of unease. Hi, welcome to Love to Speak English. I'm Holly. I'm all bent out of shape. Huh? I'm Shane. You, you, how? I'm bent out of shape. Okay, bent, bent out of shape. Bent is bent, ma. So you are really human body bent, ma. Bent out of shape. <laughs> 没有的。OK， 今天其实要描述自己的坏心情。对。OK， 所以如果你说，哎、欸，我整个身体都被掰弯了，你这样会不舒服，对不对？对。<笑>其实这不是不是真的被掰弯，只是说，哦，我非常的恼火。对，你、okay. 你看起来就很啊。你<笑> look bent out of shape. Are you, are you okay? 啊<笑>、uh, ，你常常会说 you look all。Bent out of shape. Ah, 就是你整个你全身都在，对，整个就是 bent out of shape. 哈哈哈哈哈。看起来很不舒服，很不爽，对，很不开心。Yeah. 那那还有呢？就是要要这么。Okay. Why are you all shaking up? Okay. So shake 这个字呢，就是你在做什么？对，就是感觉就是你你有被。震过，然后你就<笑><笑>就是抖动或是被震动太多，那你可能就是呃被就是很震惊的意思啦。对 ，OK， 再再次就是，我<笑>总<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>结，等一下 ，OK OK 好 ，Perfect Perfect <笑>。Anyways， 还有一个叫什么啊 ？On、um, pins and needles。对，那 pins and needles 是那个刺刺的，还不知道中文是什么。<笑>就是针啊<笑> ，pins 就是那个小针啊，然后 needles 其实也就是针、嗯。这两个都是，嗯、呃，如果你坐在上面的话，你会很不舒服。你你来，你示范一下坐在它上面的感觉。啊、对，对，就是会非常。可是 pins and needles 其实你就是因为有可能就是你要等待。
一个不好的情况要发生，嗯、就是就是感觉就是你很紧张，就是你想要好好坐下来，可是你又不能好好坐下来，你就会弹起来，然后哦、啊，我我是不是要担心啊？对对对对对，所以其实就是非常焦虑紧张。对，再次再次。哈哈哈哈哈 ！OK， 所以记得这三个就要用它的表情包。哈哈哈哈哈 ！All right, live action, live action, live action. Don't get bent out of shape. <laughs> hey, what's the matter? You look all bent out of shape. Did something happen? No, I'm fine. I'm just waiting to hear if I got that job I applied for. I've been on pins and needles all day. You mean you were going to leave me? Who I filmed Joy Jung In Wen with? This is awful. Don't get all bent out of shape. I am not leaving Joy Jung In Wen. Even if I get the job, I will still continue here. Oh, thank God! I really thought you were leaving me. Oh, you're so sweet. Number one, bent out of shape. Number two, shaken up. Number three, on pins and needles. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。我们今天要用一分钟的时间来复习四个单词，还要造句练习。同学们准备好了没？一分钟计时开始。第一个单词叫做冰淇淋。大家都爱吃冰淇淋，怎么说？叫做 ice cream， ice cream。My brother likes chocolate ice cream。I prefer vanilla ice cream。我哥喜欢巧克力冰淇淋，我比较喜欢香草冰淇淋。好，第二单词呢，它可以指经验，你可以当动词来表达经历什么，或是体验什么。这个字叫做 experience， experience。Anne has always wanted to experience different cultures while traveling。Anne 一直都想要在旅行的时候去体验不同的文化。第三单字呢是自然，自然怎么说？大自然那个自然叫做 nature。Nature. Ethan loves nature. He likes all kinds of outdoor activities. Ethan 喜欢大自然，各种户外活动他都爱。第四单字叫做魔法。魔法怎么说呢？叫做 magic。Magic. In the story, the witch. Uses magic to turn the prince into a frog. 在那个故事里面，巫婆用魔法把王子变成青蛙了。好，太好了，我们刚刚好就在一分钟之内复习完四个单词喽。同学们表现很棒，那我们下次见喽，拜拜。